Hi guys, I am coming to my natural state today. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about something that means a lot to me, um, which is the struggle that goes into making this transition a reality. Um, being transgender is not easy. You face a lot of criticism from people who may have always like constantly supported you in life. You know, someone who's always been there can say something really damaging, and um, people don't tell you that. Um, they also don't tell you about setbacks. Um, a huge setback for me that has happened was my insurance decided to stop covering my specific dosage of estradiol. Um, so, I was unable to take it for a while, and um, it... It was very hard on me because I started to see all of those changes that I had finally started to acquire over the past nine months. I just, I saw them slowly start to disappear. And um, that really led me into a very dysphoric state and I haven't been able to pull myself out of it since. Um, no one's going to tell you that there will be days that you lay in bed because you literally just, you can't leave the house. You're like, how am I going to face the world right now when I can't even face myself? Um, I know that's like sad or depressing or whatever, but it's like the brutal honesty behind transition. It's a huge emotional roller coaster, basically. It's a tornado of emotions and just, um, I don't know, it's pretty insane. So, um, another thing people don't tell you is that, you know, if you're going to transition, it costs a lot of money. It costs so much money to be yourself, and, um, I'm going to kind of preach for a second because I can't handle it, but... We need to make a change. We need to do something about this and make it known that we're struggling. If we're constantly sitting there saying, oh, I just had this done. Oh, I just had this procedure. I just got on this dosage and these are my results. Where's the struggle? How are people going to view us as human? I think it's Deepak Chopra that says that you'll be the most attractive um, when you radiate like complete humanity or something like that but basically when you're vulnerable and if you can show people that you're human um that you have a heart and that you have a lot to give then there's no reason that they won't listen to us um that needs to be our weapon in this battle against um almost the oppression and healthcare that we face it's so unfair that we're having to live with this dysphoria, having to deal with this depression, um, when there are other alternatives, basically, like, I don't know, the way I see it, we need to stand up and we need to speak for ourselves and we need to start caring about these things and not the petty things. I need to start caring about these things um, because this is real. I mean, think about the struggle you've been through so far in your transition. Think about the struggle you've been through in life if you aren't transitioning. You know, it shapes who you are and you deserve to share that. You deserve to share exactly who you are with the world um, without feeling ashamed for it or bad about it or guilty for some reason. I don't know, but um, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that today because it's been on my mind and bothering me. I will probably be making another video shortly, but... Um, this is my third time trying to film this because I am wearing like absolutely no makeup and had to force myself not to run into the bathroom and throw on some concealer real quick for my facial hair. On a brighter note, tomorrow is round five of laser hair removal for me on my face. 
um, I go to Cosmetic Rejuvenation Medical Center. Um, it's on Santa Monica Boulevard here in West Hollywood. And um, they do a great job. Zara's awesome um, for fillers, any other um, kind of aesthetic procedures that you wish to undergo without actually um, submitting yourself to the pain and torture that is cosmetic surgery. Um, all right, guys. Well, I hope you were able to get something out of my video today. And um, I apologize for the more grim um, atmosphere, I guess. I don't know. Atmosphere. Um, but things will be brightening up here soon. Just have to be honest with everybody and love you. Um, stay strong, guys. Just keep going. to delete this video <laughs> I think it's awful I think I look terrible and I feel terrible <laughs>